What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Nos, and welcome to Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 2. Now, I must apologize ahead of time because I've been wanting to play this game for a while now. This game has been out since July of last year. I should have played this much sooner. Because y'all know your boy is a huge Castlevania slash Igavania style gamer fan, and I love these kind of games. Like, this, the style of them, the retro feel. Oh, I've been wanting to play this for such a long time, and I now finally have time. It's been sitting in my Steam box for like forever. So, enough for me my dudes. Without further ado, we're just gonna jump straight into the game because your boy is too excited not to just jump right in. Yo, because I haven't played in a Bloodstain since um, Ritual of the Night, which was its own kind of game. This one has like only a few levels, but it will still be fun. Veteran characters get knocked back. I think that's why I played last time in the first one. Um, enemies respawn from off screen, and one character dying counts as all characters. Ooh. That would be a hard thing to do. I'll probably play veteran. Casual is too yeah, casual is too easy. I'm just gonna play veteran, my dudes. And I did not know this game was two player. Ooh, ooh. I may have to get a buddy with me to play with this sometime. Like um, I'll do a, a one player playthrough and then I'll do a two player playthrough. That'll be fun. Ooh, that's exciting, my dudes. All right, I'm gonna read this. Zanketsu, the peerless swordsman from the east, crossed paths with fellow travelers on his quest for revenge. They overcome peerless battles and forge deep bonds, ultimately working together to strike down the demonic threat they pursued. However, their journey was not yet complete. Dominique, oh, Dominique's in this one? An exorcist sent by the church who was sworn to revenge against the demonic kind spread word of the tower, de tower of unknown origins. It is said to be constructed using methods uh, once thought impossible for man to achieve. It was known by the church as the Demon Tower. It is it, as if called forth by the tower itself. The Demon's Castle appeared once again. Is this a curse of fate or the whim of the moon? Zangetsu's blade flashed in the moonlight once more as the Demon's stronghold beckoned. Now, I don't want to spoil anything, so if this spoils anything for the storyline of um, Bloodstain, please blurt this out, cover yours, what you gotta do. But Dominique was the ultimate bad guy in Ritual of the Night, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, there's her right now, carrying my ass. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Is there gonna be a level with a glider? Because that'll be sick. Stage one, the dragon something. I didn't see what it said. All right, here we go. Ooh, I'm excited, my dudes. I am excited for this. Your boy loves these retro-style arcade kind of games. I, I grew up on them a lot. Like, I play a lot of... I play, When I was a kid, I played tons of Castlevania, tons of Metroid, and games like those, like, in between. Pitfall was another one I played. And name it, I probably played it growing up. I played tons of them. Like, I, I, I blame my dad for that because um, he was big into them as well. Okay, can't go that way. Uh, point. Mm. Boink, boink. But yo, it just feels good to play these game games. Does this wall break? Aha! What rule of thumb in any Castlevania game or Igavania style game? Most walls probably are breakable. You can probably break the walls. You always gotta at least try. All right, here we go. Press on. Boom. All right, how many lives do I have? I have three. Sweet, I have three. Boink. Oh crap. Oh come on. Okay, I don't think I can get up there yet. No. One thing. Okay, that's that's a little peculiar. Um, there were if you if you guys remember the first Bloodstain, there were um two ways you could beat the game. One, you could play with the allies in the game, or two, you could play the game solo and um kill the allies and get certain abilities. I guess they didn't decide not against giving him the abilities you get from doing the what I would call like a genocide run in a sense. But I guess I guess in a way it's not that big of a deal. Ah, heart. I needed that. So at the same time, hmm. So basically, it's like you don't technically need to play the first Bloodstain to get a feel for the game, which is in some aspects. And eh, but if you want to get an understanding for the lore, I would say definitely play the first Bloodstain and definitely play Ritual of the Night. I think Ritual of the Night happened after this game, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, what does the sign say? A message is written in blood. It seems I can use sub weapons with. I already know that. However, that would be uh, require weapon points. I already know that. If I destroy lands, per perhaps I can find. Okay, this is uh, this stuff I already know because I'm a veteran Castlevania fan. If you played Castlevania, then you know how to play this game. Nope, oh, I'm too far. Aha! There we go. And I have 20 weapon points so far. I wonder if I can get more. All right. 
Yeah! Oh, acid monsters. You're not gonna spill your acid on me. Nope. Here we go. Aha! As I said, you gotta break those walls. Like, if, even, even if you don't go that way, at least go to the wall to break it. God, this feels so good to play, though. I would definitely recommend playing this game. I'll put a link down in the description below if you guys want to check out Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 2 for yourself. It's not free. It's, like, only $15 on Steam, but definitely worth so far because this is just awesome. All right. Let's see. Flower monster. Oh. Die, flower monster. Die, flower monster. Oh. Die, flower monster. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Your boy still got the skills. Oh, shh. Never mind. Okay, I had to wait for him to close. Die, flower monster. Oh, one more. There you go. Die, flower monster. All right, here we go. This game feels so good. I love the music. I love the way the game feels. I just love everything about it. Nope, I don't think so. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, no. Okay, one mistake I've done in previous Castlevania games, especially arcade style ones, if you um, um, if you get hit while in air, they can knock you off of the platform. Oh, screw you, cat! Aha! I caught it. I knew he was gonna jump. Your boy's not stupid. I knew you're gonna jump. All right. All right. Oh, not close enough. Aha! All right, give me some of these. Also, rule of thumb: if they have a if they have a glow before they attack, that means they're gonna shoot something. Ooh, I thought he was gonna shoot me. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, big old gong. Wait, can I cheese this? Hold on, I might be able to cheese this with the emblems. That is so cheesing. It's like a mini boss, but you can easily cheese him by doing that. He's pointing that way. Okay. I had to check because usually when they point this one direction, that means in the other direction, they um there's like an item or something. Alright, so here we go. Oh, okay, yeah, they're prepping me for a boss right now. I can definitely tell. They they wouldn't give me that many um chandelier, give me a full HP and everything if they weren't What was that? I'm not tripping, right? You guys saw like a shade or something move in the background, right? Like on that castle in the back, around the moon area. Hmm. Okay, never mind. Maybe I, maybe I am just tripping, or maybe that's the boss. I don't know. Well, this one's called the Dragon Something. So, like, is the first boss good? Typical Castlevania game or Igavania style game. Dragon, like if it was Metroid, Ridley. Um, Castlevania, Dragon or a giant bat, one of the two. What do you got for me? Ah ah ah! Oh, do I? Oh oh shit! I'm gonna hit. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, do I attack the skeleton then? I think the skeleton takes does the damage. Yeah, it's the skeleton, so I can only attack that. Okay. So, that's... Okay. Oh, oh, shit. Okay, um... That looks like something that came straight out of Alien. Okay, so I gotta wait for his mouth to open. Dot, 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 dot. Dot, dot. He's almost dead, though. Okay, I ran out of, um, shits. I ran out of shits, so I can't, um, use my, um, Y anymore. Okay, where's the tail gonna hit? Run! Ooh, that was close. Wait, I think I'm gonna die here. Like, I... Wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! Oh, I'm gonna die! 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 Oh, shit! Oh, I could've lived. Why did I go back? Oh, well. Okay, now I know what to expect. That's actually a pretty easy boss. Not gonna lie, that's gonna be pretty easy to fight. That's gonna be pretty easy to fight. I should have actually been able to have that. I just didn't know where his weakness was. I thought it was just gonna be his head. All right, here we go. We got this. You boys got this. Right. Oh, okay. I don't need to go up there because I, I have full HP. All right, that break. Does that break? Yes, it does. Done. All right, let you shoot. Slice, slice. Oh, slice, slice. Oh, I almost fucked up there. Slice, slice. Pentagram on you. Boom. All right, easy peasy. Easy peasy. But this, damn, this will definitely be interesting to play if I can get a second person to play with me. I'm not sure if any of my buddies would be interested, but maybe one of my viewers would be interested to play with me. I'll have to see. I cheese you real quick. 
I bet a lot of people didn't know you could cheese it like that. That's that's just so easy though. Just jump up there with the pentagram. Ha! Easy. All right, here we go. Max me out. Nice. Boom, 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 and boom. Okay, yep, I'm all maxed out. Let's go. Ah, see, I saw that time. There was a dra the dragon was on top of that thing. He was he was um a silhouette in the moon. Okay, okay, okay. We got this. We got this. Okay, come on, Mr. Dragon. Let me slay you. <laughs> kind of a furry dragon, aren't you? All right, here we go. All right, wait for it. Da 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 da. Aha! Okay, so I can take it. I can take a hit and then deliver some hits. Okay, I used all of them that turn. Okay, so he's gonna attack me. Just run back. Easy. Okay, so looks like I I take a hit and I deliver some hits. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Jump, jump. Come on, come on. Oh, your boy got that jump kill. All right, he was actually really easy. So that's probably what I'd be doing if I was gonna just speed run this game. I might actually try to speed run this game. That'd be fun to do. I hope. Oh, it's Dominique. Hey, hey, Dominique. Didn't see you. Sweet. All right, is that it? Ooh, she's over, uh, fancy over there with her spear. Yeah, it's still kind of funny to think she's the bad guy of the Ritual of the Night game. So, okay. You're too slow, Zangetsu. Oh, wait, that's her. You're too slow, Zangetsu. I felt the I, I felt the target before you. You have some nerve using me as a decoy. Come on, I had no choice. You were the only person I could rely on for this. Let me lend you my strength and, you, and we will... Slay those demons together. I have faith in you, Zangetsu. <laughs> so she used me to lure out the dragon, essentially. Okay, well, this is game is getting really good, honestly. So, oh, I didn't even get a choice. In the last game, you get a choice if you want to ally your people. You can either kill them and get their ability or ally them. So now I'm playing as Dominique. By the way, I'm only going to do one, um, one level per episode. I think, like, last time in the first game, there were, like, eight. I have to check out my last playlist. Link will also be down in the description. If you want to check out the first game for yourself with the new allies. Okay, just that's telling me how I can switch people with left and right with the LB and RB. Okay, cool. Um, what does this say? All right. Spear strike is X button. High jump, A button. Oh, she has a higher jump than Zangetsu, apparently. Vertical strike. Nice. Hopping strike. Hopping. Oh, I know what that is. Ooh, this is going to be cool. Okay, so if it's if I was what I'm thinking... Oh, yes! Now that's a sick ability. You can just bunny hop off people's heads with them. So I can just go like boing, 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 boing. Oh, my lord. That is a great ability. A classic ability for, like, Igavania-style games and stuff like that. Not really much Metroid because you run into enemies, you usually just get hurt. But in Castlevania, it definitely is always, like, a hop. I like that a lot. Yeah, she has a much higher... Like, so let's compare the jumps. She hum jumps there. Oh, yeah, her jump is much higher than Zangetsu. One thing I'm going to miss, though, is... Um, is I forget her name um, from um, Ritual of the Night. She had a slide. But I wonder if they're actually going to be in this game at all. But, like, I, I heard they were going to be completely new characters um, compared to the last game. But I wonder if the old ones will be incorporated back. Like, maybe after I beat the game, I can choose if I want to use the old characters or not. Which would be pretty cool, honestly. All right, let's see what's going on next. And if it starts next episode, we're going to wrap it up here, my dudes. Yeah, starting the next episode, so we are going to wrap it up here. Oh, that's cool. They actually put them down below eating, like I'm taking a break. All right. Stage two, enchanting, or oh, whatever. Okay, anyways, my dudes, this is going to be a wrap for um, this episode of Blood Bloodstained Ritual of the Night 2. Wow, I'm actually loving this. Like, I'm really mad at myself for not playing this sooner. Because I've known it's been out since, like, July last year. i just been putting it off. I had other projects I wanted to do, other games I wanted to play. But now we're playing it, I cannot be any more happier. As I said, if you want to check out the previous game, which is Bloodstained Ritual Night 1, there'll be a link um, to the playlist down below in the description for you to check it out for yourselves. Both games are on Steam. As far as I know, there's not a, uh, like a, 
um, bundle pack yet, but I, I can predict down the line they're gonna be a bundle pack to buy like both games or something like that. So check it out for yourselves. If you want to check these games out? They're really fun, really old school style, but just really retro and really cool style games. I would definitely recommend anyone playing this. So that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. Thank you all so much for tuning into the episode. Hope you enjoy Bloodstain and many other games soon to come. But until then, everybody, thank you all for tuning in. If you liked the video, make sure you smash the like button down below. Drop a like, leave a comment, and support your boy Nas today. And with that, your boy is out, and I will see all you guys in the next video. Wham!